And then something that recently came to mind was, well, something I've been seeing pop up a lot recently is this whole religion thing, religion being a cult. And I'm just like, it's funny because these are things I explored like a year ago or over a year ago and seen it surface now, honestly, it's, it's interesting. But um, when I used to, on my Instagram, when I used to do let's get personal with the trainer, personal trainer, let's get personal with the trainer. You know? Only some of you's got that. But I kind of touched on religion, how we as these eternal beings attach to religion for sense of being and the sense of understanding because the reality with this life we're experiencing is we don't know. Not everyone does know. Um, the thoughts you currently attain consist of things you've only experienced. You've not ever had the exact same experience twice. So reality is infinite and it's we're kind of watching it on we're watching it unfold in front of us, moment by moment, day by day. Um, and as unsettling as that may be, it's also quite peaceful because there's no expectation for anything to play out once you settle into it. You're kind of free to just float and be in the present moment. Now, with religion, it's a touchy subject. I think, look, you're a believer. Any religion you choose to abide to or adhere to, you believe. Now, you believe in what you don't know. Because if you knew, you would know. But because there's that room for skepticism, Skepticism, or it's just not certain. You're therefore a believer. You're believing in what you don't know. So I mean, in life, everyone's got their own experiences. Everyone's got their own paths. Um, I guess the issue is when it comes to the point where one is now imposing their ideologies onto another person as if the knowledge they have tapped into is the right answer because there is no right answer there is no wrong or right way to praise God and you know this subject again you know touching on God is an infinite topic really but when I refer to God, I'm referring to the infinite sorcery that we're all essentially an infinite expression of. I think, um, again, God's ineffable, so it can't be described, it can't be defined, but if there's anything in reality similar to that, it's consciousness. Consciousness, the mere ability to perceive things, the mere ability to exist, I think that's all God. We're always experiencing God. So for you to take a branch of this tree trunk and just hold the branch and just go, yeah, this is the right one. This is the right one. But it's like, hang on, there's a whole tree trunk. He took that off. You know, it all stems from the same thing. So when we're colliding with one another, it not to say it doesn't make sense, but certain individuals in this mindset attach to religion for escapism or sense of belonging or just a sense of understanding because if you didn't, you would be aimlessly floating on this earth. Now, that sounds quite daunting, but once you become one with that and reality, it's quite freeing. It's quite freeing. Um, and then it's like it's been all, it's been weird because a lot of people have questioned, "Oh, Clive, are you atheist? Are you? What's your? What do you believe in?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm come from. I've come from a Christian background. I come from a Christian family, and I do agree with the Christian beliefs. But I think 
anything in reality we've been presented to perceive is an extension of God anyway. So, I don't know. I guess just understand that we're human beings. Just be in the present moment because we being, us being spawned on this earth to experience this finite reality in this in this vessel, you know, in this in this organ. It's not by chance. It's obviously done by a higher tapestry that we can't quite fathom. So in that respect, I, I do get it. But then when it comes down to surface level things, like, you know, you've all essentially taken two branches of a tree and you're like, no, this branch is better. It's like, no, this branch is better. It's like, it all roots from the same trunk, you know? Um, now I guess what everything I've just said I don't know absorb what you can if you get it you get it but if not I don't know I'll be happy to develop or expand on any loops I might have potentially created there but yeah. one life man one life or life actually continues I don't think <laughs> We think we're so important, don't we? Like, life takes place after us when we leave this earth. Life took place before we came to this earth. So this one fragment of reality we're experiencing, we attach to it so dearly, and we run with it, we identify with it. And it's like, understandably so, you know, is this for that reassurance, that sense of reassurance, you know, kind of give yourself this end goal, this purpose. But the purpose to reality is just to be where you are right now and experience it wholeheartedly, wholesomely, abrasively. I don't know how to describe it, but I guess that's that's God, isn't it? He's undescribable, so. And I guess this is what I was trying to kind of get at where with this whole like youth churches being a cult and whatnot. Look, reality is this infinite spectrum and on this spectrum, infinite potential, right? All possibilities exist. So on one side of the spectrum, you have got some messed up elements of the church and you know, I'm not gonna go into it, but we're all quite aware of it. I'm, I don't really tap into it as much, but I see it. I see things, I hear things. But on the other side, there's obviously been good. I've had good experiences in the church environment myself, despite me not being open about it as much. And I guess others can relate in that regard as well. So again, just further leading to the point that reality is infinite and we're all uncertain and we're all trying to figure it out. So the reaction I'm seeing from some people to say, no, no, that, you know, you can't say this. How blasphemous, how so and so, this is the work of the devil. If you just take your time to look back at what's being said, I, I can understand that. I can understand how a perception like that can be created, but I guess amongst, along our journey of trying to figure it out, I mean, look, the one thing as vibrational beings, the vibrational beings we are, we crave connectivity, connection, you know, family connection, friendship, sexual relations. It's all about connection. So anything that makes you feel good such as being in the church environment. Respectfully, I understand how beneficial that can be and how that can possibly take you out of a rut. But then there are also people that have gone on that same journey and it's not quite gone that exact way. I don't know, it's just an interesting topic. It's an interesting time to be alive, honestly, because like I said, I mean, whether, whether you, whether you're aware of it or not, whether you like it or not, you know, the way we embrace God is outside of religion. It's, 
It's above religion. It's above, it's above anything that we can think. We can't fathom it. So anything we perceive through our lenses, anything that we think through our minds is not it. It's just not it. It's, it's what we think it could be to keep us grounded and, you know, kind of go that, oh, okay, I can, I, can, I can live, I can breathe. Because if we walked around like intensely sensitive to the awareness that we are just on this floating ball in the middle of nothing, we'll go crazy. This is where most mental health derives from and most drugs take you to this mind space. And, you know, many things come into it, but I guess it's how we perceive things really, you know.